Lesson 5.2a, Calculating Markup. A markup is one type of percent increase. We can use a bar model to represent the retail price of an item. The retail price is the total price, including the markup. We have a wholesale price from the manufacturer or supplier plus the markup that's equal to the retail price. The markup amount is used by the seller or store to pay their employees. Store rent, utility bills such as electricity and phone, insurance, advertising, licenses and permits, and other business expenses. To make a profit in order to pay for these expenses, stores mark up the prices on the items they sell. So remember, a variable is a letter of the alphabet that takes the place of an unknown quantity. We can use the first letter of an item as its variable to represent its unknown quantity. We can use B for an unknown amount of bicycles. We can use C for an unknown amount of cars. We can also use X and Y as general variables. These are popular, they're used a lot. And a lone variable can be written with a 1 as its coefficient. So remember, the number just to the left of the variable is called the coefficient. If we have an x here, that's just 1x, it can be written as 1x. Just like if we had x plus x, that would be 2x's. And if we had x plus x plus x, that would be 3x's. A store owner buys shirts from a supplier for s dollars. What is the retail price for shirts that the store owner buys for $20 and $30 after a 45% markup? So think, we need to mark up two different costs for shirts, $20 and $30. We're going to do $20 plus a 45% markup, and we're going to do $30 plus a 45% markup. This will give us the retail price of each shirt. The first thing we do is draw a bar for the cost of the shirt S. That's this bar right here. Then we draw a bar that shows the markup 45% of S or 0 0.45 multiplied by S. This is the bar plus the 45% markup. These bars together represent 100% of the cost, that's S, plus 45% of the cost of S as one whole plus 45% more as 1 plus 0 0.45, which is equal to 1 and 45 hundredths multiplied by S. So here's the second part of the instructions. We have the retail price is equal to the original cost plus the markup. That's 145% of the original cost as the retail price. The original cost is 100% of the original cost. And the markup is 45% of the original cost. Because in this case, we have a 45% markup. Markup can be anything. In this example, it's 45% though. So we've got the retail price is equal to S, that original cost, plus 0.45% multiplied by S. That means the original cost of $20 for that first shirt plus 0 0.45 times $20. Well, that comes out to $9. So we can add the $20 plus the $9 to know that it's $29 for the retail price. $29 is 145% of the original cost, $20. Now, the, to do it more efficiently, we multiply S by 1.45. We have an S here, don't we? That's 1S. We can add the 1 plus the 0 0.45 as a 1.45S. Now we multiply it by that $20 S. That gives us $29 as our retail price. So do you see by multiplying it by the 1.45 we didn't have to do the extra step of multiplying it just by the 0.45 and then adding the 20. We do it all together. We get 
$29 for our retail price for that first shirt. For the other shirt that was $30 for cost, we have our 1S plus 0.45S, and we have 1.45, 1, and 45 hundredths multiplied by the cost, $30. We do it all together and get $43.50 for our retail price. Since the markup for each shirt was 45%, no matter the original cost, the constant of proportionality for the retail price was 1 and 45 hundredths, 1.45 multiplied by S, that original cost. We have R is equal to 1.45 S. We can use this equation to find the retail price for any shirt that has a 45% markup. If the cost of the shirt was $40 from the supplier, we can do R is equal to 1.45 times $40. We get $58. We can estimate the markup for these shirts to check that our answer is reasonable. 45% is close to 50%, which is equal to half. If the original cost is $20, we find half of $20 and add. Well, half of $20 is $10. That means we have the original cost from the supplier plus about $10 markup. So that's going to be $30. The retail price is about $30 because we rounded this up to 50%. So it's not exact. It's close. So our answer was $29, which is close to $30. So our answer was reasonable. So here's some examples of some equations. Let's say you've got an item that you got from the manufacturer or supplier that was a $12 cost. You want to give it a 60% markup. We've got R, the retail price, is equal to 1.60. The 60% is the 0 0.60, and this 1 represents that original cost. We multiply it by the $12 and we get $19.20 for the retail cost, the retail price. If we have an item that we got from a supplier for $58 and we want to mark it up with a 35% markup, we would do R is equal to 1.35 multiplied by that $58 cost. So notice how we've got a 1 in front of whatever the markup is. See that? It's a 60% markup, so we've got 1.60. We've got a 35% markup, so we have a 1.35. If we have a $58 cost with a 35% markup, well, then the retail price is going to be $78.30. We multiply these together. If we have a $20 cost from the supplier and we want to mark it up 100%, we add the $20 cost plus 100% of that $20. We have 20 plus 20, or 2 times $20. The retail price would be $40. If we have a $20 cost and we want to mark it up 200%, well, then we've got our original cost, $20, plus 200% of $20. 100% would be $20, and another 100% would be another $20. So this would be the 200%. Now we have 3 times $20. That's a $60 retail price. And if we have a $20 cost with a 300% markup, well, then we're going to add our original cost, $20, plus three twenties for 100%, 200%, 300%, because this is the markup and it's added to the original cost, we have four times $20, which would be $80. We're finished with 5.2a. We're going to move on to the last part of this lesson, 5.2b, calculating markdowns. I think the most important part of this lesson is understanding how to write the equation. Do you understand the equation and that R is equal to one point, whatever the markup is, multiplied by that cost? I hope you have a great day, and I hope you join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.